When you post your videos to YouTube, there's a key tool on the platform you can use to keep your audience locked into your content for longer. This feature is called an end screen, which acts as an interactive overlay on the last five to 20 seconds of your video. It's a great way to promote the other videos you've posted on your channel and encourage viewers to subscribe. These are added during the YouTube upload process at the video element stage, where creators can add up to four interactive icons, either as part of a ready-made template or individually, that viewers can tap on once they've got to the end of your video. However, if you just throw these onto the end of your content in a rush to publish, these interactive end screens can be unsightly and actually block your video playing on screen. To prevent this, many creators will add a specially made graphic onto the end of their videos, specifically for the end screens to sit on. This is a stylish way to hook your viewers' attention and keep them wanting more. To do this in LumaFusion, open a new 16x9 project and get creative with a combination of your media, videos in Storyblocks, and the title editor to create an end screen visual that fits the look and feel of your brand. Use video, images and text to create what is essentially a call to action, thinking about the text on screen, the colours used and whether you want to add any animation. Remember, interactive elements for an end screen can be 5 to 20 seconds long, so your work needs to be within this range. Be sure to leave space for the interactive end screen elements you want to add in YouTube later on. Now it's important to know that YouTube has a safe area where you can design your end screen overlay and the size of your elements can be individually adjusted. So if you want to be on the safe side size wise and you want to make a template for the safe area or size of elements when designing in LumaFusion, I find it's a good idea to pretend to add an end card to one of your existing YouTube videos, choose a template you like and adjust as required before screenshotting the video frame. Then you can use this screenshotted image as a guide in LumaFusion, making any mock shapes you like which take the place of your elements in the title editor. I use this guide I've just created in the title editor as an overlay on my end screen design, so I can make sure my interactive elements will sit neatly on my end screen when I go to YouTube, within the safe area and designed on screen how I like. When finished placing these into position for my end screen, I hide the layer on the timeline that houses the element templates and export the end screen visual. So now we've made a beautiful end screen in LumaFusion. To use it in my current and future videos, I add it to the end of a project timeline before I export. When I go to upload this to YouTube, I choose to add an end card and add my chosen elements, making any adjustments to the size or position if required and using the timeline below to choose when they'll individually pop up on screen. Now I can proceed to post the video with confidence, safe for the knowledge viewers are being directed where I want them to go in a stylish manner and hopefully staying on the channel for longer. Why not make the most of this opportunity and develop different end screen graphics for the different videos or playlists you create? Some might cover the entire screen or you might choose to have others only covering a portion, allowing the main content in your video to play underneath. This is a great option for when the credits are rolling or say you want your presenter to stay on screen. So have fun with this, creating different end screen designs and building your YouTube channel in style with the help of LumaFusion.